Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Hangar Studios Flight 713. Today's flight time will be about 1 hour and 13 minutes following takeoff. The content creator of this flight is Captain Gawain Grimm, and this is your favorite developer, B4 Gunner. Please make sure that your seat back is in the upright position, your tray table is closed, and your seatbelt is fastened. We recommend that you continue to fasten your seatbelt while seated during the flight. Also refrain from using any electronic devices during takeoff and landing for safety reasons. Your cooperation will be much appreciated. If there is anything we can do for you, please let us know. We wish you a pleasant flight. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day, a good Thursday night, whatever it happens to be. Uh, see we got TPHI out here. Um, the, uh, this plane right here, Rams S6, S6S S by Flyboy Simulations is now in the marketplace. Um, oddly enough, I didn't know that when I chose it for the flight tonight. I did not know it was going to be popping up in the marketplace this week, but I'm going to do a quick promo and run around the aircraft right now for you guys. Um, because it is one of the, the best built aircraft in sim as far as absolutely well built. I mean, it's incredibly, everything about it works. Everything, not just this, but when you control cables move, you can open your canopy. The windows or the doors changes the sound properly, affects the flight plan properly, the flight characters properly. Your flight plan looks like Windows XP key. <laughs> so this thing just popped up in the marketplace today. So if you've been thinking about getting one, it's here. It is 110% worth it. It's one of the best. $15 planes you're going to find, just like Gunners. They, they both the products are incredible. Like I said, the detail in this is absolutely bonkers. Doesn't have dirty windows. Every little, it even looks like paint over aluminum. I mean, the textures. Oh, I don't normally do this, but like I said, this just came out in the marketplace, and it's one of my favorite little bush planes. So. And you can um, also, a couple of other little features, you can um, shut your GPS off and give yourself a club box. Got a map in here, and he will tell you where to put the file to change it to a map of your area. So that's cool. Or you put your GPS on, and also turn on and off a little autopilot mode, which is cool. We're gonna shut our doors. No dirty windows sold, see that? Well, congrats to Flyboy Sims for getting in the marketplace. It's been a long time waiting. But on that note, we're just going to go ahead. Get ready to go. Should be some challenging flights tonight because this... While it is a great little bush plane, in real life it doesn't have horsepower to be parked ground where we can park ground the first part of this, so it should be exciting. A little Colonel Indian long nuts 
TPHI, Mr. TPHI. Latex whistle down. Hey, it's been a while. It's been one of your streams. I didn't know who you are. I remember you. I just didn't see you on my chat. So I not ignoring you. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. has been a while. I hope they've gotten better since you were last year. This is, yeah, I guess I should have told everybody what it was. It's the Rams S6S by Flyboy Simulations. Like I said, it just came up in the marketplace today. I, I honestly didn't know it was coming up today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I had to turn off live weather, by the way. I have come here <laughs> to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble. Live weather, I couldn't see anything. Yes, we have a flight plan. That is the correct one. Mr. William Kelly. Yep, it's unofficial. He made it unofficial finally. Isn't that fucking awesome? I didn't know it when I did not know it either. I, I did I had no clue when I scheduled this stream with this plane that he was gonna be on there. We've added those emotes. Uh, I don't think I have Pam Pam Pam. I do have like uh, Boeing making the extremely bad. <laughs> uh, what the hell? I got one for the. I don't even remember what it's called there anymore. Come on. Uh. Crap. Is it crap? Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> Try crap. That's maybe like crap. This plane is now in the official marketplace. Flyboy Sims is now officially in the marketplace. <laughs> Hello, Mighty. I'm William Kelly. Evening, everyone. There's a was a big glitch. I don't it's still here. There's a big glitch in the the river right here. I think they've had the river like 500 feet lower than where it should be. No, I didn't even know. I I literally didn't know till five minutes before the stream. So I will definitely probably plan a stream, another stream, see if I can't get him in. Yeah, right here, they they really messed up the river. <laughs> I think whatever the AI did for the height of the river got it really wrong. Like really, really, really wrong. It's down there. <laughs> oh good, if you help him out, I'm absolutely over there. Because you two are literally you two guys are the king of the $15 super detailed airplanes. It's really that deep? <laughs> this is pretty up here too, though. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I had to shut off the light. It was terrible. Way too difficult for a bush flight. Of course, this flight has to be like way too high for this plane. Really? Yeah, no, seriously. The, the two of you are like the kings of the $15 airplanes. You get $40 airplanes for 15 bucks. You get $40 to $60 detailed airplanes for 15 bucks. Just, I can't say enough good about the two of you. Ooh. Damn. They're lying. <laughs> yeah, I figured. They're mighty. This is TPHI. Mr. TPHI. Plenty of bacon. Dude got the awesome fucking... He's, he wins the award for the best username of the night. Plenty of bacon. He's not flying with us, but... There's somebody who's got their shit together right there. <laughs> There's a beautiful, like, motel or something back on this one. That's why I flew over it. 
like a motel on that little lake isolated up here in this town, no more. <laughs> Duca drifting. I don't know. Is who trying to catfish me? Hell, <laughs> the, the bacon dude? <laughs> bacon chlor make a good pond girl, man. <laughs> that changed a lot coming from a grumpy old bad. Uh, you're getting a lot better praise from a lot better, bigger YouTubers than me now. I'm soon going to be forgotten to the wayside because you get all the big dogs talking about your stuff now. Which is good. I'm happy to see all the big names and one of them in particular finally take notice after ignoring you for a very long time telling you not to quit your day job. Now he thinks your stuff is good because people like it. So now he's got to like it. So I like that. <laughs> Good to see. <laughs> a lot of fat bacon. Uh, it's good to see a lot of the big YouTubers promoting your aircraft. It's well deserved. Very good. I feel like the clouds look better than before. Oh, they are. They're absolutely much better. I no longer probably said, well, since the last time you were here, I've upgraded to, what is it, 7900 3D AMD with the 4090 RTX. And I've recently shut off, maybe it's 070, but I don't think so. I think it's 07. I may have screwed that up. But, uh, I've also shut off recently, like last week, 079. Sorry, that was a typo, 079. Yeah. My bad typo. Uh, I shut off the DLSS because the new one's fast enough to render every single frame all the time, so I don't need any fake, fake frames. So everything looks just that much sharper and better. <laughs> And my old box is now a streaming box. The, the, this, the flight sim is just flight sim. It doesn't do anything else. So it leaves all that off of it. No, I haven't improved my landing. <laughs> Where'd be the fun in that? I also crash every time I try to skip my wheels in the water. Now my landings have gotten better. They have gotten better. Mostly. <laughs> same, same mostly. Yeah, Pussy Glor wasn't an original Bond girl. She was. There's there some great Bond girl names. I can't think of a single one other than Pussy Glor now. But there was some great ones. Octopussy. I on the hump a lot. Oh no, that was Austin Powers. Close enough. <laughs> I, it crashed a couple weeks ago on the start. So he thinks. <laughs> Come on, somebody look it up and tell us some of the best Bond girl names. I should know them, but I'm, I'm not, my brain is just not processing them. Or ones you think should be Bond girl names. <laughs> the speed in the dive. A lot of Fagina. I miss the real Bond. Yeah, I said that. I've on a hump a lot. There, no, there's no do a barrel roll, man. I don't, this plane doesn't really like to do them either. Yeah, 
It was okay, but not the best. <laughs> I wish I knew Two Tone Murphy better. I'd have sent him that thing explaining the difference between an aileron roll and a barrel roll. There's a really nice graphic of the two. <laughs> I knew him better, I'd have sent it to him. Ah, oh, Foggin, got it. That was supposed to, I was trying to do a barrel roll, but I. It didn't come out very well, and the difference is really simple. Barrel roll, you actually roll around the outside, but this thing didn't have enough oomph to get all the way over, so I had to add a little more aileron than I should have. So it was kind of a cross between the two, but if you want to get into it, it's really simple. Barrel roll rolls around the outside of a fixed point, where an aileron roll rotates around the center line of the aircraft. So if you can get into it, that's exactly the difference between the two. <laughs> and one of the easiest ways to do an actual barrel roll is if you're in a in the thing look at a distant point at about 45 degrees out your windshield and as you make your roll you keep that point dead in the same spot all the way around the roll and it will come out almost perfect right you do use Ailerons for both, but it's what you're doing. One, you're using an elevator, you're using your elevators and your rudder to roll around the outside. Of a fixed point in space, while the other one you're trying to. If most planes can do a 1G roll if they're done properly because then the fuel stays in the seal system the way it should be, but not every plane has the power to do a 1G roll. A lot of Pagina. <laughs> vagina? I just write a lot of vagina. Jesus, why'd you have to be so cryptic about it? Oop. <laughs> if you if your plane is properly set up to do it, you can do a full 1G roll. And virtually any plane can, like the guy did with the 727. With people on board. With executives on board during a display, one of the first displays of the jet. <laughs> Get a 1G roll. No, but I could probably fly about 15 feet. Yeah, not five, five meters. I don't know the difference. Pussy galore, that's it. Holly Goodhead, yes. <laughs> Honey Rider. Domino. Which one was, um... Which one was, uh... Grace. Grace, that, uh... What the fuck was her name? The tall... Grace Jones. Which one did she play? We're being a tall, slender black woman who was built like a brick shit house. She was pretty hot. <laughs> Not the black guy didn't think it was it hot or not. I, thought it, I remember her being pretty hot. When I was Thank you, William Kelly. A little field up here we can land in. Anybody up for landing? No, not even have one.
Make sure this, that's not actually one of the airports. Yeah, we can, we can get in here. A little swamp. I know. I was just being a smartass. And I saw you put 15 feet in there. I'm pretty good with the metric. I grew up on the Canadian border. <laughs> Oh, there's plenty of room to get everybody down here. Nice and flat, too. Whoop. I'm gonna jackrabbit that in. Good thing those creeks aren't real. They'd rip your wheels off. Hey, SR Stacy, this one's about 100 knots. That's pushing it. <laughs> You're mighty. That's a cool shot. I don't know why I like that shot, but <laughs> I lost him in the clouds. <laughs> Anybody else coming down, or am I just hanging out down here by myself? The big field. You can get in here, TPHI. No, he's gone. He's like, fuck that. I'll wait for the regular runways. <laughs> Not this one. Well, I can do VTOL. Yeah, I can do short takeoff on this one. Not totally vertical now. Cub Crafter, our next airport. He's not going to land. All right, I'll be up in a minute. Let me just tell them our next airport is, hey, it's, yeah, 079, or, oh, oh, Oscar 79. Hey, it's a Gammy Wombat. Make sure you get a hold of me, Wombat, so I know what time you want to stream this weekend. I pretty much have, it's Easter weekend, so, um, it's kind of funky. I just did a short takeoff. That was pretty short. Being out here in high elevation with a plane that shouldn't probably be up screwing around on the mountains aside. That's why I chose this. out now she gets one better. There we go. Yeah, Sunday's probably bad, but Saturday, just about any time Saturday. Or Friday. If you have sound. I don't know if you have sound. <laughs> Overspeed really quick and dive. Cool, I'm heading out for lunch soon. Yes, I have sound. Your morning or night, yes. Probably my night is the best, but whatever works for you. Too low train. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah, you uh, pick high elevation. L17D, I'm working on a fix for that. I don't know, I'm selling the elevation details. Yeah, didn't somebody find a thing that said it was like 17,000? 17,500 is ceiling or some shit like that. Very good to your time. Maybe your time. Late. Late afternoon, my time. Whatever you want to do, dude. I'm good. This Sunday's not going to happen. 
Oh, shut. Saturday probably won't happen either. Afternoon won't work Saturday because I got to go to the farm on Saturday. They're having some sort of meeting on the farm about what they're doing going forward. Cool farm. Free food. <laughs> this one, I probably wouldn't push it much over... 10. Anything over 10 is going to be struggling. Yeah, that's good. Only the pilot corrected me. That, yeah. yeah, it's in the official marketplace now, Walmart. Here. Wombat. Gammy. <laughs> the wombat. The gammy wombat. Yeah, it showed up in the official marketplace tonight. I didn't know that when I planned to play with this thing. It's just kind of weird that it worked out that way. This is a great VR plane. It's just an awesome VR plane. Wait, I thought your name was Gaming Wombat? I think it was kind of a me mesh of Gaming Wombat to Gaming Wombat. Kind of meshing the two together. See how, we can, how long we can float before we set her down. Oh, that was butter. That was total butter. Oh, look at the lovebirds, nose to nose. <laughs> There's Hawk Driver. Mojave High just checking out, going to the next spot. <laughs> Man, I wish for the top of my heart. Full of magic. Everyone knows it's butter. That's me. <laughs> I didn't hurt anybody that time. That was sweet and smooth, and it hurt a soul. <laughs> Alrighty. I slowed down before my wheels touched. You're supposed to come in steep. Did you see the fucking mountain behind me? See the hill? <laughs> Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Why didn't Gammy 2 work? Why didn't that work? It's Gammy 2, but why didn't it work? Let me check. It's an act of lunacy, General Shah. Personally, I think you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I think you're a fucking idiot. How's live weather? Is it any better? Probably not. It was pretty crappy when I was... Oh, no, it's not bad now. Well, there's that over there. Ah, we'll go back to what we had. <laughs> go back to our auto cumulus. <laughs> Alright, I, I don't know why I'm going all the way down here. I have a short takeoff plane. Uh, yeah, tornadoes would be bad. They don't have tornadoes, but they do have hurricanes. If you buy SoFly Storms.
Oh, giant live weather. Those heavy snow covered turbulence. Yeah, I, I turned it off <laughs> at the start of the thing because I was totally socked in in the snowstorm. I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. It was quite a valley, huh? Out in the mountains, valley at big old plateau valley type thing at 5,000 feet up. Grass Valley, isn't it? Grass Valley, California. Oh, trim, get your ass down. Engine back. There we go. Get the plane all settled in. Unfortunately, there's a lot of really cool airports, but um, they almost all seem to be pretty paved. <laughs> Most of them are, I thought they were going to be much worse than they were. But um, next week, I think we're going to have some fun for a bush play. I've got one that's going to be like massively challenging. Like, bring your A game. We're going up in the mountains of France going to be some high altitude shit. There's going to be some of those crazy little short straight up runways. <laughs> Somebody put a sand dune in the middle of the damn pretty valley. I'm not sure what day next week. It's probably Thursday to do a push play again. But Wednesday is most likely going to be that car game and gaming server on Wednesday night. If you want to play on the server, hit Gammy up. I think there's a spot or two available. I want a game like War Thunder, but my rough lights in the game crash for which are more than right. This is my chance of getting a girlfriend, but. Who doesn't want to fight others machine gun MD-11s? <laughs> they made, Microsoft had one. Microsoft Combat Flight Chip was fucking awesome back in the day. Which way is it? Which way is the my going? Zuli on the servers. Sometime he got the game. Oh, cool. Always fun to stew. It's not going to show me which way the airport goes. It's probably just a fucking patch of grass. There it is. I see it. I see it. I think. Maybe. I'm guessing it's that house? Okay, nope, it's not. It's farther back in the woods. Look for the dust coming off the plains from a thousand feet up. There it is. It's hiding behind some trees. Yeah, if you're coming in from that end. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to kick up the dust so I can't see the land. Thank you. <laughs> I better for 30 feels like only 15. Yeah, the weight, the older you get, the more that happens in real life. Had issues in some. The buy NPCs were invisible, but face patch fixed it. Luckily, cool. Yeah, I haven't logged into the server yet. I'm not sure what you've done. On, you we're going to start clean, right? First, the first live stream will be a clean, brand new server. Ah, uh, trust me, 
you don't want to be old. It goes fast. It goes by stupid fast. And it gets so fast, it's scary. Because the faster it goes, the closer you are to the end of your life. It's fucking... Terrifying. I'm sitting here realizing I, 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 if at, at the outset I got 20, 25 years left. And it's like, fuck. <laughs> and they go by so fast, 20, 25 isn't very many. Hey, hey, Aviation Caleb, how are you? <laughs> I triggered an existential crisis. <laughs> that was how well you land the aircraft on the it, it, it take a. I'm better at landing when I can in VR, but I'm not in VR. <laughs> So I've learned to, I had to learn to fly the plane behind everywhere I wanted to see outside the plane. <laughs> that it? Everybody landing? Where's Mrs.? So Mrs.? Did we lose Mrs.? She's gone. Yeah, it's so much easier in VR. Got depth of field, you know exactly how close you are. I'm not landing there. No, <laughs> is that it? Okay, well I guess we can all get going then. She just she just answered that question. I'm not landing there. Now we get off early. Not stall. Oh we're hanging it. We're hanging it on the prop. Oh, a little more, a little more. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I have an Excel life tracker. Especially look at Jesus Christ, I wouldn't want to do that. I have done XF11 review. We have the I don't remember Saturday, but I think I talked too much in this one. Yeah, right, you get used to it. Just figuring out how you want to do them. Something new, gotta work the bugs out. I'm constantly working the bugs out. I never get them right. <laughs> Screw wind <and> sightseeing. <laughs> you just saw a bunch of dirt and said, I don't think so. Get my pink plane all dirty. Yeah, I don't know why people do it, I guess. Get my life going by. I, I'm terrified. I wouldn't want anything to tell me when I'm going to die. Died in a fucking dream the other night. Scared the shit out of myself. So bad that I was up at 4 in the morning and couldn't get back to sleep. I'm driving a car and I had to get somewhere and I felt myself fucking blacking out and I knew I was dying and screaming no and oh, it was terrifying. Fucking <laughs> usually can control my dreams, but not that one. That one it's like, no, we're not gonna let you. We're gonna fucking die on you in your dream. That was twisted. I used to really like this song that's on the background now, now I hate it. I don't know why. <laughs> that was a twisted dream. Really weird. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Just because I died in a dream, but I actually died. There was something attacked me and seemed to kill me. Never had to get it out. <laughs> I'm 
I thought I died playing flight sim one day. I did. Literally thought I died. Scared the living Jesus out of me. I was flying in VR and I was leaned out looking out the window out the side, banked over like this looking at a castle. And the fucking chair slipped a little bit, dropped a little bit. I thought I fell out the window. It was real plain. That's how immersive VR can get. <laughs> I literally thought I fell out of a real plane. I still run it. I'll get stutters from it. I don't get any stutters from it. The, the biggest thing that causes me stutters right now is other aircraft moving. Dude, you got a beefy enough system. First of all, take your DLSS and turn it off to TAA. Shut the DLSS off altogether. Go TAA, and your sim will behave so much better and look so much nicer. One of the best changes I've made to the thing in forever. I spent like eight hours one weekend just doing graphic changes and settings. Trying to make it look and as good and as smooth as possible. trying to get the power line mod in the market. Power lines, the marinas. Well, that when you got a beefy enough computer, you don't need fake frames. That's the whole. That's what I finally learned. That when you got when you got enough graphics, why why make fake frames when you can have real ones showing exactly how they should look? I do at Mach 1 get a weird line like down here. You know, Mach 1 down low, but that's pretty much the only time I get anything odd. That is so pretty up here. Oh shit, I'm going to peel the wings off. Sometimes I'd be worse not to see it happen. A lot of drains where I'd be slightly high up and then I'd fall. It's been <laughs> I dreamed one time I fell. I was falling. And I woke up on the floor. That was kind of weird. <laughs> I'm the plane was diving. I gotta climb up and over this ridge. I wanted to check out these ponds, these high altitude mountain lakes. I'd love to just pitch a tent right there and side of one of these. It's got a road to it. Got a couple of roads to it. I wonder if they'll let me pitch a tent there. Probably not. I want to go camping like big time. Springtime, every springtime, I just get antsy and want to go camping. I'm not camping with a thousand other people at a campground. I usually just go in the woods, in the middle of freaking nowhere. Campsites, but they're 
really rural ones with no major facilities. I got a bunch of supplies ready to go. I got some new stuff to go with. Got a new heater. Got a new heater to try it. Just clicks on my little gas stove and turns it into a radiant heater. Can't wait to try that. Six to eight at the times. <laughs> Got a brand new tent. Got a brand new tent. Because I'm considering selling my camper with my car. So I got a brand new North Face tent. With the, like the tub bottom. The waterproof tub bottom. As long as the water is less than 8 inches deep, it won't get wet inside the tent. Man, this thing just overspeed so quick going down here. Well, I got a new cot inside the camp tent. I don't have my bed in the camper anymore. So. I got a bunch of new camping stuff. Managed to score a couple Spanish MREs from Spain and another Dutch. The Dutch MRE is great. That's fucking MREs. I can eat for almost two days on the one ration. It's insane how much stuff's in Get a good score on those. Still want to get some Canadian ones, but they're like old fucking teeth to find anywhere to get them. I can get them from Ukraine because apparently Canada was nice and sent Ukraine a whole bunch of relief supplies and somebody's selling them back to the US and Canada. <laughs> Funny, the first day I take, the only fresh food I take, they usually take one of those big tomahawk steaks. I'll take one of those. And uh, some eggs. Beaver tails and moose balls. <laughs> I just want the poutine one. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, they're, they're hard to fucking find, I'll tell you. Probably take my camper one more trip to the racetrack and try to sell it as a whole package deal down there. This is near where I grew up, the local airport 022, that farther south here. Is that on our flight list? No, we're going to. No, we're not. Where's 022? Ah, I'd have known I'd have gone. Could have put it in my flight plan. In the meantime, I'm just going to crash coming down the whole back side of this mountain. I've been in this river for a while. I'm going to chill and do some river flying. You picked a good spot to grow up, much like I grew up in the mountains up here. Can't beat it growing up in the sticks. I'm so looking forward to 2024 when it comes to stuff like this. The river's half the road, and uh, I do hope they do a better job with it.
almost stalled it there, wasn't paying attention to my speed. My throttle. I had cut it because it was diving and then needed a bit of power and it wasn't there. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I hope it's a lot better down in the valleys. Somebody likes it up here, they built a motel or something. Looks like a resort. <laughs> Yeah, you can't buy stock in Cub Crafters anymore. It's now closed. The purchasing of the stock closed first of the year. Still think only with payware these things would be better. Too hard for them to make it work. My Xbox and too many limitations to the game content. Did they say, have they even said that 2024 is coming to Xbox? I haven't heard. But I've also heard it's going to be totally cloud gaming, so that alleviates a lot of stress on the local computer. But you're going to have to have fucking really kick-ass internet to make it work. Well, that's the business model they use. Yeah, too much money to make. Yeah, but if it's all cloud gaming, it's then it's not it's not a problem. You just gotta use the lower resolution planes. You know, that that's the whole business model the X plane did. It didn't work for that. You know, X plane did that business model. Well, we'll make the world look like shit, but everybody will do payware. I'm here for like more minutes. So I think I'll go. No worries. I'm just glad you stopped by again. Thanks for stopping in. But yeah, X Plane 12 did that whole model. We'll, we'll let everybody make, you know, we'll we'll make mods for the let everybody make mods for the world. And the world still looks like shit unless you pay for this city and pay for that city. And it's amazing how much it looks like crap. <laughs> I was flying it again the other day. Just trying to find something good about it. Other than the flight model, there's nothing. The visuals are terrible. The planes look like shit. They fly really well. They fly really, really, really well. That's all it's got going for it. You know what? I, I thought like that because I did get a couple of really cool paywares like Niagara Falls and the other falls. I spent money on a place I've flown once. You know, just like I've got very expensive planes. I I added up. I have over a thousand planes that I've only thousand not thousand planes thousand dollar in plane that I've flown once. Over a thousand bucks in planes that I have flown just once. I keep keep still going back to the same six planes. Occasionally, a new one comes along that I really like. It's like I stopped flying the 414 because I like the 310 better. But I'm not buying any more scenery because I buy it, I fly it once, and then it just takes up space and slows my computer down. So I literally just removed almost all the scenery packs I have. I figure if I go there, I'll load it in. But it's, uh, I don't know. When I... I was disgusted when I found out how many. I went through and checked off how many planes I flew from once and had it up in the rates. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. And it's terrifying how much money was tied up in planes that were flown once in the. And they literally were flown in the first flight stream. They weren't even flown in the second stream after that. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, we're. We're going to be much more shrewd on what I buy from here on out.
from from here on out yeah, I'm gonna be pretty shrewd on what I buy you're not gonna see the latest greatest expensive ass airplane anymore <laughs> unless the dev wants to give me a copy I'll fly it if you don't want to give me a copy I'm not buying it. It just was costing way too much money. I mean, the sim streaming makes money, but it doesn't make enough to cover the cost of the planes. <laughs> now, yeah, we're, we're going to slow way down on that. Well, that's it. I've got a group of planes which do just about everything. There, there's a couple I'm looking forward to. There's a couple I'm going to be getting for free because I know the developer and I'm going to be testing it and there's a couple I'm testing, but there's only a couple on the horizon that are speaking to me. Everybody's going bonkers over that new, whatever it's called, one coming out. It's going to have the new twin engine that's coming out, but the, I imagine it's going to be, you're going to have a choice of piston or turbo prop, which is cool. But it's going to have like a huge price tag on it, so I'm like, eh. I have plenty of turbo props now. You know, let's find those and do some figures. But the train is absolute dog water. <laughs> yeah, the Duke, that's it. The Black Square Duke. I like Black Square stuff. It's really good stuff. It's got a hefty price tag deal with it. So I'm imagining that's going to be a $40 or $50 airplane. So that's off the radar. I can buy it for your, your birthday Sunday, dude. Let me hit exclamation point birthday. Could be the birthday. Happy birthday! And she gets a happy birthday from Frosty the Snowman. Happy birthday! You say it's your birthday. It's my birthday too. Don't need that, okay? <laughs> Happy birthday, TPHI. Yeah, if I can see down those aircraft, you can stop buying them or it's higher, higher and actually win the game's nuts. Yes, yeah, birthday boy. Oh no. I just realized that if he was born on Easter Sunday. Good lord. Literally. <laughs> Get my own command. If you come back enough, yeah. If you hang out enough, I, anybody that hangs out enough gets a command. If you see you around enough, I put one in there. Every six to eight years. That's cool. This is study level. It's 15 bucks. It's study level. It was actually built by two pilots. One of them owns an SXS. So I can't wait for his new one. That's one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> and believe it or not, I'm actually looking more forward to the next Navion than the 17. The range master just looks like a beast. I, I'm really looking forward to that one. I think that one's just he gets better every plane. I know he's here. I'm probably like he's not here, but he gets better every every plane he's done has gotten better. And range master is just such an awesome plane. But I can't wait to. Turned 18 a bit ago. <laughs> Yeah, that whole that whole leap year thing gets weird because every 200 years you you have it, and every 100 years you skip it, and when he, you know what he should do when he makes the package of all of all minute, he should stick that one in there. <laughs> That's fun. It'll keep up with that. The one you fly all the time, it'll keep up with that thing. Yeah, 
I'll just stick it in there in the build, in the pack. Just throw it in there. Just do new liveries for it. So now that you know how to do textures, do some really nice liveries for it. Throw it in there. I think the dick dastardly one ain't run into some sort of trouble getting money for that one. Sticking what and where? <laughs> so I'll comment on the video where the, the lead guy said she was only 12 and so was I. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is TPH. I've been behaving herself lately. I think she's gonna go. She was that one time because she just was totally missing everything. I was even setting up ones that were perfect and she just fucking missed them. I still don't know what the fuck you're supposed to see in that painting. I gotta be fucking blind. I've seen nothing in that painting that makes sense. Like fucking nothing. Yeah, no fucking. I've seen nothing. Nothing sticks out at me at all. Nothing. It, yeah, fucking 100% serious. I fucking. I see a bunch of fucking paint smeared on a fucking thing. I see nothing. That's why I said Jar Jar Banks. I fucking have no fucking clue. I saw nothing. <laughs> See you later, Latex. Have a good one. Fuck, I forgot to turn off the lens flares. Uh. I don't know where the fuck she po it's posted in the somewhere. But it, it, you're supposed to be able to see something in it. I see nothing. Hello! Oh, I'm gonna screw up this lane. Is it Wyland? Thobold? 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 I hope I didn't butcher too bad. You're welcome! Welcome, I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Gawain, butcher of names. I need a sign that says that. <laughs> oh, apparently it's okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh. I got a trike so I can't skip the wheel so I don't worry about it. I don't want to give the plane a drink of water today. Maybe you got a better picture of it, but I, I literally see nothing in that one. Whoa! There, we, we just barely kissed the wheels, not on purpose. <laughs> what the hell? You guys all took off. I'm sitting back here just leisurely putzing along at 90 knots. 90, 95 knots, enjoying my flight down the river, and you guys are all fucking gone. <laughs> I see how y'all are. We're back in Frontier Game. So I'm sure you're on about. <laughs> Well, I know what it is, but everybody jokes and shit, but I don't see it. I mean, uh, quite obviously, all the comments what it's supposed to be, but my brain's got nothing. Oh! 
That was close. That was really close. And I know what it's supposed to be, but I, I, I literally can't see that. I don't see, I, nothing. Hey, Gammy, I wish I could bring over my cars I've invented on that stupid little game. Wish I could bring those over. I got one right now that's a beast. Got two giant machine guns on the side. <laughs> yeah, freaking giant cutting laser with extra batteries. Run out of ammo and still take out the enemies. It's one of those things you can't teach somebody to see something. They, they, they put a some sort of abstract painting thing and it's supposed to be... Somebody getting a Hummer, but I can't see it. I just. It's in um, Discord somewhere. I'm not sure where. It haunts you if you can see. Nice thing to have in your general chat. I'm going to hell. <laughs> yep, I'm going straight to hell. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. Look at this. Either a prison or a school. <laughs> Whenever you see a building like this, it's either a prison or a school. Where they cut all the trees away and. <laughs> Probably a school. I don't know, I didn't see. <laughs> I didn't see the perimeter fence. Fuck, I'm almost out of coffee. This flight almost over. <laughs> We're almost out of the mountains. We're down below 3,000 feet. That's my next year. Oh, my head itches. I got sunburnt today. Ow. Without cutting some brush. Yeah, I guess my soul's in the guy. I... I... <laughs> I'm just probably fucking blind. No, sunburnt. I, ha I have no pigment in most of my face and my hands. So I get fucking burnt the second I'm in the sun. <laughs> I do it anyways. I go out sun without sunscreen this time of year. I'm an idiot. I do it anyways. I love the sun. After a nice cold winter. I wish I'd get my pigment back, but that can't happen. It makes it even worse. It's just gone for good. It sucks. Yeah, that was a long leg because there was nothing else down that hillside. There was no place to stop. No, I'm not an albino. I used to have pigment, but I have a really fucked up immune system. I have what's called vitiligo. My immune system has decided that my pigment is not mine. It's the tactic it needs it, destroys it, and it won't come back. So, yeah. I have a really fucked up immune system. It thinks half of my body is not mine, but tags it every single time.
Oh, we're gonna bounce. Same thing as Michael Jackson. Yeah, his was fucking from a bottle. He was bleaching his ass. <laughs> Do I need fuel? No? You good? <laughs> You don't see us? I don't see you. Why don't I see you? Where are you? I see Hawk Driver down there. Fucking ain't. I don't see you either. I don't see Mrs. again. I think. Uh, that I don't see Mrs. I don't know. I don't see, I don't see one of the TPH either. <laughs> No, uh oh, Gunner pulled something that's fucking silly. Or disturbing. I gotta say, and I don't care who I piss off tonight, but old Grandpa Joe's got a fucking go away after what the fuck he did 40 le less than 40 miles away from a fallen officer and instead of going to the funeral he goes to a gala to make money uh, that just pisses me off he could have spent 30 minutes over there at the funeral but didn't he was less than 40 minutes away not disturbing descriptive we <laughs> just really need ah that was a terrible takeoff. What the hell are you guys putting in Discord? Do I even want to check while I'm flying? I don't even have Discord on. Hey, all you Xbox users, now that you can finally get access to this, you want to really kick ass new bush plane that's super realistic this is it right here I still don't see it I see the nose uh, maybe I see a hand now it's a, whatever I, I, no I don't do impressionistic shit I don't see that shit I know what they're I just read Mr. TV I know that's what's supposed to be but don't I don't see it. Even the description is hard to see. I mean, I get it now. I can see where you think you can see that. Or that's what it was supposed to be, but... I didn't see it. I like there. Fuck you, Tony! <laughs> Fuck you, Ezekiel! I saw everyone over at the first top of National shooting Hobby High. I can sort of see it, but it's just not... Yeah. Thanks for flying along, William Kelly. Absolutely much appreciated. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. That's mine. <laughs> I mean, I see when you put the descriptions on there, I can see what you're thinking about. I, I did. I honestly didn't see any of it. I know it. I almost, want, I'm almost going to buy it just to rate it. I mean, I'll blow 15 bucks to, to rate something. Absolutely. But I can't. Oh, yeah. I have another glitch, by the way. Not only will it not remember the windowed mode, it absolutely will not allow me to purchase anything from the marketplace. It has to have that pop-up window for the, uh, so you can type in your code. 
so you can buy anything, it won't pop the window up, it crashes. So I can't buy anything, I, I called them today. About 30 minutes later, I finally got somebody who acknowledged that, yes, there's an issue with the sim update that caused several people not to be able to buy anything from the digital marketplace. I've been trying to buy something for a couple of days. Oh, we got a bridge, bridge. We got this. Yeah. Saw it a bit late, but I think we got this. Oh shit. Oh. Ha ha ha. Take that. Almost screwed that up. <laughs> Nobody else gonna try it? Nah. Chicken chats. <laughs> this is why it's probably a good thing I never went to my original pilot's license. Yeah, sales kind of dismal in the official marketplace. A lot of people can't buy shit. Especially, they seem to be tied together. Because the first thing I said, I can't buy anything from the marketplace. And I said, yes, it's no initial. Uh, can, are you, is it losing full, are you having trouble with the full screen resolution staying? I said, yes. Yeah, okay, thank you. So apparently the two are tied together. In fact, it won't remember. It keeps defaulting back even after you've saved it. There's a runway here. Where is it? I see a roadway. Is that it right there? Oh, please tell me that's it. Is that really it? No. That can't be. No, it's gotta be over there. What the fuck is this runway? It might be that. <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's got to be over here farther. It's got to be over here farther. That's one of the reasons they delayed sim update, the next sim update, because they want to get that fixed in there. Is that it? Where the fuck is this airport? Am I just fucking blind? over there oh Jesus I just stalled I'm still flying with full flaps on what the fuck I put them on because I thought that was the airport there's hot driver do you see it is that it Right off my wingtip. That's it right there then. I guess. I really wish they'd do a better job of figuring out where these are. Well, I'm thinking that patch of grass right there is gonna work regardless. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Nope, I passed it. Well, I don't know. I don't see it. We may not be landing at this one. I just am totally fucking blind. It, this is a great plane in VR. It is. I still go to the, the Long Z a lot of times in VR. I'm trying this field. It says it's farther over though. Right here. Oh, that's it. All right, we're not landing here. I, that, I don't think that must be it in real life. There's something here, but it's not here. That's the road. Well, whoa. Okay, flaps up. Let's get out of here. Head for the next one. <laughs> 
I have CA21 copied and pasted in your flight plan on Discord. Yeah, but we were looking for 9CL7. Oh, well. I'll have to start off there and see what it looks like. CA-21 is not the last airport. CM-86 is, but that's okay. <laughs> wreck this plane tonight. Like, totally wreck it before I'm done. Oh, yeah? This is the one from Discord. At least the flight plan I put up is this one. I loaded it the same one that you've got. just before the flight onto my laptop to escape a moment. Yeah, well, it is what it is. It's not like it's that far to the next one or you can edit this one, it doesn't have to. But I'm gonna have to try to come somebody's at 90 set nine CL7. Who did that? And where what's it look like? <laughs> Somebody actually found it, or did you just restart from there? Or did you... Somebody's there. Did Hawk Driver find it? He must have. The rest of us spent forever looking for it, and he said it. I'm not surprised. Leave it to the real pilots to figure it out. <laughs> I had to go up and give Willie some medicine because the dad was freaking out. He doesn't realize that as soon as he starts stressing over the dog, she panics too. And that she won't eat because she's panicking because he's panicking because she's not eating. It's like a vicious circle. But she wouldn't take her meds. I cheated, I just brought a can of Maddie's canned dog food that she gets her meds with and really doesn't get it every day. So to her, it was a really cool treat. I took her meds right away. When it drone mode, I think I found it, but it was not improved at all. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, that's why we didn't find it. Pretty good field right here. Not an airport, but it feels good. But everybody's hanging out at CA21. We can call it a day there. I don't know.
that road. That road looks like it's fun. I was taking this airport was right on top of the hill. It's supposed to be. We'll make a path and see if we can find it better. There it is. Now we don't need a pass. We can drop it. Here, it slows right down. Well, that's a big house down there. wheels down. There we go. We made it. I hang out for a minute for Hawk Driver to get here. Okay, we're on head to head off about your full at or lunch. Extended family going to be an afternoon. Have a good one. Have a good one, Gammy. Yeah, best of me later. I'll be asleep, but we'll get it squared away. Let me know if you want to do it. We're going to chill here and wait for Hawk Driver to come rolling in. We'll call it at this airport. This is a cool airport. We'll call it right here. I did something really stupid today. I'm gonna have to show y'all. I gotta make a video. I have to make a video. I'm a little retro handheld. Because I I put a I put a 256 gigabyte memory card in it and put virtually every single PlayStation 1 all the way down the line. Everything below PlayStation 1, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo. I put virtually every single game that was in English on, on it. <laughs> I kind of went overboard and put like so much shit on it. The fact that it'll play all those is insane and that it all fits in my pocket. I carry it everywhere I go. I, gotta, I, I keep saying I'm going to do a video on it. Maybe tomorrow if the weather's nice, I can sit on the porch set up my camera and try to do a video should be some cool video hopefully fingers crossed we get good weather for the eclipse hoping that'll work we're going to totally ignore the gammy pink cams <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get revenge But yeah, I need to I need to make a video of that for you guys. I got a couple other things up my sleeve. I gotta do. There's Mrs. TPHI in the pink hands. <laughs> this is a cool airport. I like this one. But I hope everybody has a great Easter weekend and to TPHI, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Hope the missus gives you something nice. I'm just going to leave that hanging there. <laughs> Wait a minute, where did, where did he go? I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. He snuck in on me. I was busy. 
<laughs> there he is. There's Hawk Driver. Oh, thank you, Oliver. <laughs> Fucking A. I can't even talk to him. It's probably a good thing I'm going to bed. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight, hanging out. This is TPHI, Mr. TPHI. Where the hell are you? Your back's fucked up. Is that why you're not here? Mighty. Good night, Mighty. Good night, everybody. The grumpy old bastard squadron. Hawk driver, Mr. TPHI, Mr. TPHI, William Kelly. And everybody else that flew along tonight. Who else do we have? I don't know. Everybody that flew along. Everybody hung out in chat. I want to thank you all. And hope we see y'all on Tuesday. Have a great Easter, everybody. And sometime during the weekend, I will be doing something that's not, that's not, uh, like Tim, I'll be playing the new game with Gaming Wombat over the weekend at some point. So, I had to take call. Eh, no worries. Thanks, everybody. And uh, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Maybe. If I, I can't even find the freaking button. Happy Easter, everybody.